Hey everybody, it's Jason Blaha here, and I'm just sitting here in my robe drinking my morning coffee, looking sexy as hell as usual. And for those of you who say I don't look sexy as hell when I do these videos in my robe, nobody cares what you think. I didn't ask you shit. Last night, I was just looking through some videos on YouTube, and I was looking at old training clips of Ronnie Coleman training. And I have actually seen Ronnie train in person back when he was competitive. And I have to say, even what you see online doesn't always do him justice. That guy trained like an animal. And the difference is, when you watch someone like him train versus some other bodybuilders, it's not really comparable. And I think because of the how hard he trained and how heavy he trained, he's someone who got universal respect in the iron game. Because a lot of strength athletes do not respect most power lifters. A lot of power lifters, they don't respect us. You're a strength athlete, particularly guys like me who don't get lean and rip because we really and truly don't care or see the value in it. But with someone like Roddy, he kind of crossed over there because he did so many other athletic things. The guy played high school football. I don't know if he played college football or not. I can't remember, but I know he played high school football. There's photos of him. He did some powerlifting meets. And this is a guy when you'd watch him train as a bodybuilder, he understood the value of progressive overload and strength, the basics that so many guys have forgotten. When you see guys today who say, I wanna look like I can bench 500 pounds without actually having to bench 500 pounds, they've, they've lost sight of how muscle is built. Whereas when you took Ronnie and you see him in videos doing five rep sets with 500 pounds on the bench press. And he understood progressive overload because when you see a guy like that who's high repping 12 plates on a T-bar row, this is a guy who realized that his back wasn't big enough doing 10, so he eventually had to get to 11 and eventually had to get to 12. Not to mention the fact that we've got videos of him doubling 800-pound squats, 800-pound deadlifts. Again, this is a man who understood the role of strength, progressive overload, and heavy lifting and continually building muscle mass. And he was an absolute monster for it. And that's something that I wish we could see more of these guys who talk about they want to build muscle, they want to get bigger, and they're forgetting how critical progressive overload is and strength gains are, particularly for the drug-free guys. But as you can see, it even applies to the super enhanced guys like Ronnie Coleman. So if you guys get a chance, just go watch some of the clips of Ronnie Coleman lifting and training. You'll be shocked. This is a guy who would say things like, Everybody want to be a bodybuilder, but nobody wants to lift this heavy ass weight. I do it though, right before he squats 800 pounds. So how many of you guys who actually are bodybuilders by my definition, those who compete, or those who just call themselves bodybuilders who aren't really bodybuilders, but you train for your physique, how many of you take someone like Roddy Coleman's words to heart? Everybody want to be a bodybuilder, but ain't nobody want to lift this heavy ass weight. All right, guys, that's really all I have to say on that today. I hope it has been informative, and I will talk to you next time.